Okay. Absolutely. Hi, everyone. I'm Carrie Cassidy from Project Camelot and very happy to be here today. I am here with John Richardson, and he is with RNC, uh, which is the uh, Richardson Nutritional Center. And he his specialty is all about apricots and essence or whatever you want to call that. Ah, yeah. So uh, yeah. wrong word to use, but don't worry. On my channel, I can do this later. It, as long as we're recording, we're good. And we uh -huh. are uh we are recording according to that. So uh so well, I'm not sure. It's, we're going out live. I've learned to self-censor myself, which is okay. Uh so that, that the subject we're talking about is is a hot topic right now because of the turbo mm -hmm. addition to that thing uh, that we're talking about that, that a lot of people are suffering from. So uh, we don't, I, I, let me do a disclaimer up front. This is all for uh, entertainment purposes only and it's informational. And it, it, I'm not a doctor and I don't uh, espouse the view one. I don't treat patients. I give information and I make things available and I and I I'm a historian. Uh, I was actually just on the phone with my uh, dad's good friend Pat Griffin, Patricia Griffin, who co-authored a book by my father from the 1970s. And my dad was an MD in the 1970s, and he treated thousands of patients, six thousand plus patients, uh, with nutrition and uh, helped them deal with their disease and you, your audience can guess which disease we're talking about you kind of mentioned it uh, but the thing that is most important for people to hear is that my dad and all of the studies and information that we've known about through history have not said we that there's an answer to cure something that the answer is in preventing and controlling something with nutrition and the, the one main very demonized nutritional supplement that's hard to find to this day is known as B17. And in some places that B17 get you banned, but we're B17 or apricot seeds. Uh, thankfully, in the world we live in, you're still able to buy apricot seeds pretty red readily in the United States. It might be you, you at your local health food store, on Amazon, through our website. Uh, you can get apricot seeds, but the information about what they do for you or what uh, what the negatives are about apricot seeds is misinformation. Uh, and and uh, we our job here at Richardson Nutritional Center, it's rncstore.com, not the Republican National Committee. We don't have any political bend. <laughs> we are non-political uh, mostly. Uh, my dad in the 70s uh, was loved by the the, uh, the hippies because he... he uh, he um, he presented something that was natural and and uh, it, you know as an answer to something. But you can see on our website we don't talk about uh, the disease at all. We just talk about this is where you can get this product. And so we don't make claims. We stay away from claims. But we we have been collecting testimonials and we're trying to make that available. And we also do sell books about the subject by other authors, not claims we're making, but by authors such as. Under there, if you look under shop, that's that's my father, and that's a story about him that anybody can look into. And uh, that's who I was just on the phone with is Pat Griffin, the lady smiling in that picture. She wrote the book with my dad called Leotro Case Histories, the Richardson C-Word Clinic Experience. And it's a book, and it's been out of print for a, a year or so. We're trying to get it back. That's another conversation I just had with Pat. Trying to get it back in print. Right, uh, because people people are buying it on Amazon and it's selling for five hundred dollars a copy for used copy. So if you have a copy, hold on to it. Uh, we want to make it you know twenty five dollars uh, so that everybody can get it. Uh, but that's you know so the next part is what's what's the story, what's the history. I could just go on and on, but a lot of times I talk about something that people aren't interested in. So what do you think your audience would be interested to know about? about the subject um, of apricot seeds. And, no, and I, I would, uh, I, my audience is very interested in the science and they're mm -hmm. going to be very interested in uh, the things that it, it does for you, that kind of thing. Um, and I have, uh, you know, a very um, intelligent audience. <laughs> so uh, you can really go any, any direction. Uh, I think they'd also be curious about your background, how you ended up focusing on this in your life. Okay. 
Well, uh, I'll start out by saying my, my background was I was the son of Dr. John Richardson, the man behind me back here. I was John, I'm named John Richardson Jr. And for 25 years, my brother and I uh, had a company that sold apricot seeds and B17 called Amygdalin uh, on uh, the website, on the web, World Wide Web. And we were getting the word out there and telling people about it, but never talking about my dad. We were afraid to tell the story of my father and uh, G. Edward Griffin and anything to do with the C word, even, you know, for the last 20 years, because anytime you would try to connect it, you would get shut down or get in trouble or get censored or whatever. So for 20 years, we did that. But seven years ago, uh, BuzzFeed reached out to me and um, asked me to do a, a story about my dad, a historical story, both positive and negative, and, and present both sides of the story of apricot seeds and B-17. And so I did what I thought was going to be, she thought it was going to be, I said, I want to hear the negatives and the positives and whatever we do. And, and let's put this article out there. Uh, and after weeks of, of, of preparing for the article, what she thought was going to be, she said was going to be fair and balanced. Uh, she called me up and said, hey, I'm about ready to launch this uh, article on BuzzFeed. And you're probably not going to like the slant my editor took it into. <laughs> and I laughed. Uh, uh, but when she gave me the link, I popped it up and it was skull and crossbones made out of apricot seeds oh, no. and bee capsules. And it went on to talk about how my dad all the negatives about the story, basically about how my dad lost his license, how he was arrested, all these wonderful things to make him look like a quack. Uh, but my dad was a you know very good scientifically based uh, a, you know doctor that had gone to University of Rochester Medical School, Colgate University, did his undergrad at Mary Jean As uh, Bassett Hospital, spoke all over the world, and forty five years later they were besmirching my dad's reputation and 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 saying things about him that were not true. But here's the moral to the story is that 50,000 people, we had 50,000 clicks that month, clicked through to our website because of this negative article. Because even in 2017, people were waking to the, up to the fact that the media was lying to them and had been for years. So I've spent the last seven years restarting uh, the subject of Art Richardson Nutritional Center and the story of my dad and the story of Geo Griffin and accumulating studies and information and case histories and all of these things that back up the reports uh, that my dad believed in, the things that I believed in with his 6,000 patients. The, the book that he wrote that documented, here's one such documented case history that Pat Griffin just told me she still has the files on, was this young man uh, who in 1975 or four of Schmancer. And you can see he had it in his arm, his spleen, oh. liver, his kidney all over him. And at six years old, his parents were told, get ready, he's going to pass away. And then uh, three years later, when my dad was compiling the information for this book, they asked him to come back down and be re-examined. And this is his, his uh, x-ray of his same arm, uh, three years later, when he was now seven or eight years old, and this is him climbing over the back fence of the uh, the fence of the back of my dad's office in Albany, California. Why this story pops out to me as one of thousands of stories like this, thousands and thousands of stories now, uh, is that this young man I used to play with him, and I was his age, and so I never knew what happened to him. But years ago, when Pat re went back and looked people up to see who how people were still doing in this book, she, they did it in two thousand five along with uh, 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 Ed's longtime assistant, Carleen, they, they researched it and found he's still alive and he's 59 years old now. He's an Alaskan crab fisherman. He does grounding and still eats his apricot seeds and B-17. So if that was the only story that, that that came out of this book that was positive or the only story we knew about, it would kind of go down in history as just, oh, it's just a spontaneous but they they made I re reaffirmed that with Pat just now they made very they made very careful that they every case that went in that book was documented to have the c word and documented to be terminal and then going through right. the my, my dad's um, therapies at, at his clinic uh, afterwards they were found to be uh, schmancer free or free of what you, we you know can of you know you can say the word on my show anyway um, so so. I have a very good friend, Sean David Morton. Do you know who he is? 
I don't, but but that doesn't mean anything because he's, like I'm not blown away at how many good people out there out there now that I don't know getting the right. truth out he's, there. Well, he's very well known and um he's okay. and um yeah, if maybe you can help him, that'd be great. Well, um I, I want to be careful, you know, uh you know what I say because there's there's lots of resources out there. I know doctors yes. that are doing it and helping people left and right, and there's all sorts of case histories. But I just that this is the time when people mention it, or, or if I'm out there practicing medicine, that's where I get you know in trouble. Okay. So I will but, say that I will okay. get I will absolutely get him stirred in the right direction. There is websites out there to find people, and there's integrative people. Like I like I said, I, I yesterday I interviewed with uh, Dr. Moss, Dr. Ralph Moss's son Ben Ross, and it may never come out anywhere, let anybody know about it. But we just we talked. And talked about our histories and his dad was at sloan kettering when they in the 70s when they tested laetrile on the rats and proved that it was effective and but then they lied about it covered it up and his dad exposed that cover up and made a movie called second opinion about that instance in the 70s great the new york times came out with 188 articles in the 70s uh, uh, demonizing laetrile my dad's book came out in 1977 so there's a perception in the world out there that Laetrile has been proven ineffective and the opposite is true. They've never done the required human studies that Ralph Moss still to this day says are required for him to say that it is effective on humans. He said they definitely covered up that it was effective on rats, but they have not yet proven that it was effective on humans. And so why haven't those studies been done? That's what your audience needs to ask. And the main reason is financially, there's no profit in it. You can't patent it. It's found in everyday food. I don't have a patent or a trademark in anything I do. Uh, it's I sell the, a, a 32 ounce bag of apricot seeds for $35. And a, and a last person that eats 10 a day, it'll last five months. <laughs> it's not like I'm selling some pharmaceutical at $10,000 that, that, again, those are these are risky things that if I say I could get uh, you know banned from here or there. I'm used to being censored and that's okay. I'm also used to getting the truth out there through people that want to hear the truth. So that's what I, that's what I recommend. So your friend, oh. tell everybody if he's already um, open to uh, the truth, the truth is really out there, but I've been uncovering things. Uh, I've uncovered this. You would think as the son of the man that, that takes his name, this is a little uh, photocopy of a booklet that's 20 pages long. That's about my father. And I had never seen this before last week. Oh, wow. I have, I have been receiving a treasure trove, a literal treasure trove of documentation and information that because the, the World Wide Web is getting my message out there. This is a cool. book about uh, B17, Laetrile, B15, which is pangemic acid, and B13, and about how it works and how it can this is a book I'd never seen before today. One of my uh, employees going through this treasure trove of information pulled this out and showed it to me today. Here's a BuzzFeed article, by the way, the one that came out. Oh, my God. That's the fair and balanced report. That's insane. You still find it on the internet today. Right. So uh, the, one of the things your audience can do is go on YouTube and look, search for a positive or a negative uh, video about B17 and Laetrile and apricot seeds. And what you'll find is the video might be completely negative and tell all sorts of falsehoods, but the comments are what you really want to read. Uh, one video has 30,000 views and 3,000 comments and 2,995 of them are positive about all the amazing things that happen to people that eat apricot seeds and take, take layers. So not in my words, not in my uh, marketing material, but in the, the the response to the negative video. It's, it's a funny phenomenon that's going on because the more they try to censor things now, the more it spreads. Right. And so my job is to ba give back up to the truth and back up to the facts that there are studies, there are case histories, there are books written, thousands of them, as, as a matter of fact, hundreds of hundreds of them minimum, thousands of case histories. And the only thing stopping from the truth being known is people being willing to listen to the truth without getting it censored. Okay, so just offhand, I mean, it, you can describe the actual treatment, right? Is it just 10, take 10 seeds a day and that's it? Or is there more to it? Yeah, yeah, I don't mean to be, beat a dead horse, but I, I hate to call it a treatment because then we're talking about a disease. But okay. 
the, the chemical reaction is proven. It's in the literature. What happens is that has four molecules in it. Cyanide, ooh, that's scary, right? Mm -hmm. Benzaldehyde, another scary one, even more poisonous than, than cyanide is benzaldehyde and two molecules of glucose. Mm -hmm. So it's tightly locked in the enzyme called amygdalin, which when purified is known as laetrile. It's mm -hmm. tightly locked in that enzyme, just like cyanocobalamin B12 has a cyanide molecule on it all the time. These are called nitrilocytes, and they're compounds found in nature that contain cyanide, but not free cyanide that would poison us. Because like uh, anybody eating apricot seeds, here's 10 of them I'll eat right now. And the only irritating thing is I'll, I'll be spitting some apricot seeds uh, at the screen, but <laughs> I just ate 10 apricot seeds, which if I Google that and look on the World Wide Web, it'll tell me if you eat three of them, you we know that's not true. It's not true. And the me mechanism, the science behind it, I'll about, I'm about to explain. So I apologize, but I do this just because I don't want people to think I don't, you know, I don't. Uh, you don't take your own product. <laughs> my own product and yeah. I eat 48 apricot seeds a day. Warning. Okay, so. so warning. I'm going to tell you, you, this is a warning. Excellent. All right. Now, um, so what? I, I want to make sure I get to the science of it because people are going to think I didn't answer that. But but go ahead okay, and ask yes. me the next question. Go go ahead. Um, I'm. I think you can see the screen. I'm putting your uh, website on there, and I'm showing certain pages. So if there's any pages you think I should have on there, let me know. But uh, just oh, to give people a familiarity with it, and um, I have linked it. Right now, I've notified my uh, audience on Telegram, which is around um, 94,000 people. So in theory, they can see this if they want. Um, we are live on Facebook right now, I believe. And it's on one of my odd Facebook <laughs> channels because yeah, they wouldn't let me in all of my main channels. They, YouTube slide. blocked me. Everything's blocking me today. So that was very weird and um, doesn't usually happen. But we did get live on Facebook on this particular page of mine. So, so and I'll have a copy of this because we record on Zoom as well. And then I'll post it everywhere on social media when we're, we're done here. So you have, uh, you know, you have the floor to go into the science and so on and so forth. Okay. Well, um, let me, let me preface this by saying that I have backup for what I'm about to say, and I can give it to anybody that that's, that's skeptical or doesn't think I'm saying the truth or I have any kind of other ulterior motives. Uh, my motives every day are to get the word out there uh, and to tell people this story. And so I'm, I'm this weekend, I'm going to an event that I was invited to with 111 podcasters and I'm not, I'm not a podcaster, but this information I was invited unbeknownst to me. And so this information is, is, is of interest because of the turbo schmancer thing going on. And I know you say, I can save these words on your site, but I have enough experience to know that I have a friend that posed that used to have 1.5 million followers on Facebook and he <laughs> would save the name of my website and he got banned. He got banned. Oh. So so on Facebook anyway, on, on Rumble or TikTok Live, there's it's TikTok Live is still pretty free. But even so, I want to make sure I give these disclaimers that this is it for informational entertainment purposes. I'm not a doctor because I want people to know that all I want you to do is wake up and and know that you've been lied to. Right. And not right. I'm not lying to you. I'm not lying to anybody. And I challenge any doctor, MD, anybody who wants to reach out to me. And debate me or talk about these these things. I have backup. So, the the chemical composition I told you was two molecules of gl glucose, benzaldehyde, and uh, and cyanide. Now, in the early seventies, the Food and Drug Administration and the different organizations said this uh, product can't possibly work. This uh, natural substance can't possibly work the same way these doctors are saying it does because we can't get the cyanide to release from the amygdala in the lab. We can't, they couldn't get it to break apart in the lab until they discovered that beta glucosidase, which is called the unlocking enzyme, write it down uh, out there. That's the unlocking enzyme. That's the enzyme that if you put it in a lab with amygdala, it'll release cyanide and benzaldehyde, very poisonous things. And so that's the fear they put into people that, hey, this compound, Compound releases cyanide and benzaldehyde. And if you take it, you'll have 
they didn't explain that the body has a, an, an enzyme called rhodinase. And rhodinase is the unlocking, or excuse me, the protecting enzyme. It actually breaks down uh, cyanide and benzaldehyde into analgesics. So that's why in all the books about uh, B17 and all the stories about B17, everybody says one of the main uh, benefits of it that we can talk about is pain relief. So uh, you get a sense of euphoria or a sense of pain relief, uh, or not a sense, but you actually get pain relief. And many people that were going through this the th th these problems back in the past, my dad of uh, his 6,000 patients, he said 95% of them would get pain relief and would get uh, a lowering uh, that's a that's a financial resource. It doesn't even that link doesn't even work anymore. So, uh, oh, all right. Go to, go to, uh, it's okay. That's funny. Uh, go to shop. Go to shop under shop. Or you can you, you shop and then go down to book uh, the Dr. Richardson's library. Okay. okay. This is where we put all these amazing finds that we're finding. These okay. historical things as we can get them published. We have both digital versions and. Uh, and PDFs of some of these finds. And it, 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 the list goes on and on and on. But when I go on a podcast and I announce this new collection of stuff that we found, we put it up on our website as quickly as you can. We have been getting so much stuff. We don't even, can't even have the time that we don't even have the time to get it up in a given day. So we're trying to get, we've hired some people from the church and things like that to help us do this. Anyway, the, the compounds, of, uh, again, reminding everybody, beta-glucosidase and rhodinase are the two enzymes that work in conjunction with laetrile in the body. Where do you think, Carrie, the highest concentration of, of beta-glucosidase is found in a, in a person walking around the planet today? Oh, um, <laughs> I, I have no clue. Um, I'm okay. not sure. Good. You're Good. Still I, didn't have a clue till, I didn't have a clue till recently either because I didn't care. Because I didn't, I didn't care about the mechanics, but now I need to explain to people the mechanics. It just so happens that the highest concentration of beta glucose, the unlocking enzyme, is found at a C cell, at a Schmanzer cell. That's where it's found, and that's why up to three thousand times the amount of beta glucose days is found at a Schmanzer cell. So when Laetro comes in contact with that Schmanzer cell, the cyanide and benzaldehyde are released. And they then do their effect on, um, that was at my daughter's wedding, that picture. Uh, <laughs> uh, so anyway. Uh, um, they, yeah, they I'm, I'm just trying to show people stuff while yeah, you talk. Right. Go ahead. And so um, then uh, if any of that's excess of it goes over to the, uh, the healthy cells. And guess where rhodonase is finding the highest concentration? And that's at healthy cells. So if your healthy cells bump into cyanide and benzaldehyde, the rhodinase breaks them down and turns them into pain, pain relievers. And But they also have been studied to help with oxygenating the blood, helping with your lung capacity. So athletes benefit from it. There's a, a, a supplement called B15. I showed this. Uh, hold on a second. Uh, stop, stop, um, stop. Uh, I, 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 I've been telling, somebody's telling me to change my settings here, but it's not working. Um, I'll put um, go, uh, sorry. Hello. I'm here. Okay. Go ahead. Okay. I'm still here. Can you still hear me? Yes. Um, there's okay. hopefully, uh, I'll see if, if there's a chat room. Someone said to switch my, I don't, I don't know what's going on with the sound, but hopefully my audience can hear you. Okay. I was hearing you fine. Um, but, uh, just had some, my, uh, partner over here uh try to help me uh with this saying logistically there could be an issue um just okay. trying to see what's going on um that was kind of not the right thing to do it looks like we might have broken off our broadcast okay so stand by i'm going to do this again uh, unbelievable Okay, that was really a bad move. Um, I don't know what's going on here. Okay, as far as I know, our sound was fine. Um, we are still recording. Are you there? Yeah, so I don't worry. Um, I, I don't know why they came and said that, but it, it seems to have interrupted our, our live stream. Uh, but let's right. continue, and then I'll put the whole thing up there. Okay. It, it might fine. be that we're still recording. We're still on on Facebook. I think it looks like we are. Okay. On my, 
just recording. It has a little uh, signal yes. and then it has. Um, I rare so rarely go on Facebook. I, I stopped going on Facebook myself personally about three years ago because I was just everything I said or did was censored. So I've right. I've learned to self censor, but I I also don't censor when the when when the person that I'm talking to is not going to be censored. So would I say that if, I, if you have, get me on Rumble, you can ask me any question, do whatever, and, and we don't get it doesn't get deleted. But on here, I'm trying, and I don't stop going on Facebook like this because I want people to know about this that only go on Facebook. So, so right. the the mechanic, the science behind why it works is basically it's a a, a a chemotherapeutic thing from God, whether you believe in God or spirits or astral, or whatever. It's a it's a chemotherapeutic uh, thing from nature that only works on C cells. It doesn't harm not normal cells it doesn't harm your skin cells or your hair cells so someone that's doing laetrile therapy or laetrile um, uh, taking it for prevention of, of disease doesn't have uh, the side effects the bad side effects that they might get from normal orthodox therapy doesn't mean you can't take those in conjunction and 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 uh you know i talked to i've talked to different people say i don't care what you say about it you know, if it works or doesn't work, because we, we've never done the, the actual human studies because nobody's funded them. Uh, but if, if you don't tell people to quit doing what they're doing with their doctor, and I don't. If people have a doctor and they're listening to their doctor, do what your doctor says. But there is nothing wrong. And any doctor says, don't be healthy nutritionally. There's nothing wrong with adding in nutrition yes. uh, while you're going through whatever therapy uh, modern medicine has come up with. That, by the way, after $2 trillion raised over the last 10 years, they're no closer to finding the C-U-R-E or the Schmancer word than they were 10 years ago or 20 years ago. Matter of fact, Schmancer rates have gone through the roof. So the, the orthodox way or the way they've been doing it, even modern medicine is saying, you know, we haven't, we failed at, at finding something that, that's effective. But in the 70s, when they studied it at Sloan Kettering, Dr. Sigamora was mentioned in this book uh he said it's the, it's he found the most effective thing he ever tested at Sloan Kettering and they covered it up and not because for any nefarious reasons necessarily but financially Schmancer is a big industry and finding an answer that's very natural and safe and, and cheap for right. it's super cheap to, to eat a Magdalene you just eat the right foods I have a good friend who wrote this book and she it's it sells on amazon and she took care of her own schmancer with with uh with food and it tells you all about food that you eat all chock full of nitrilocytes coincidentally but she she wiped it out and she sells this book and she talks and things like that she and i w went up to her after she talked at a conference and said hey have you ever heard about apricot seeds in in this and she said absolutely my mom treated her own She's a 12-year survivor. So she and I became friends. We speak around. And so, so I'm just giving you a little tiny piece of the information I have, but I have backed up. So for your audience, I'd love to answer questions. For your audience, I want them to know that if they send an email to contact at rncstore.com, we will send out uh, 17 things that are benefits of eating apricot seeds that don't even mention the word schmancer. And we'll <laughs> also send you out for no charge uh, that our, my dad's protocol what he talked about with his patients because he said it was just a protocol that helped the immune system first and then if your immune system was able to fight off the schmancer that was just a side benefit that was great and that's the way my dad approached it in the 70s and that's the way he approached it now not as a cure for anything we don't we, we stay away from that word that we're helping your immune system and then and and you know, then see what happens. Then we've got a couple articles in there that you can uh, look at uh, in the in email that you'll, that'll be sent out. But importantly, your audience can receive a discount that you've uh, worked out for them. And it's, uh, let me just make sure I have it. So anybody that link goes on there and wants a discount on the books or uh, or any of the products, and we have 100% money back guarantee in all our products. We're not trying to sell, sell uh, you know, Ice cream to Eskimos. We want people to, to feel safe and secure. We've been around. I've been doing this for 25 years, but it's called Project Camelot. P-R-O-J-E-C-T-C-A-M-E-L-O-T is the discount code that you use to get a discount on the books or the supplements. 
and the information's free, like I said. And we have an amazing FAQ, Frequently Asked Questions area that's been revamped with answers to some of the most common questions. Okay. Shipping. So that's a place to get started with your education. But if you only found it out for me, I would go, hey, maybe that guy's self-interested in telling us the good news. So I tell people all the time, you know, feel free to research, go down any rabbit holes and learn more about this. Because the more you learn, the more you'll be happy to know that we don't have to. It's a disease that in my lifetime, I hope goes the way of scurvy when we discovered and we knew right. for 300 years that vitamin C prevents and cures scurvy. That's You can say that now without getting in trouble because we everybody knows it, but we know the science is the same for many diseases, including rickets and vitamin D uh, and all the research study, piles and piles of study about this, about how the, the best use of amygdalin is to, to use it before you ever get schmancer, not to try to take care of it after, because you can't jump off the bridge and then throw somebody a parachute and expect them to survive. So I want your audience to know it's not about somebody that has the disease. It's about somebody that wants to be healthier and make their immune system better and fight off so many things. I don't take any pharmaceuticals. I have 11 children. Uh, one of the benefits of uh, the side effects that makes people chuckle is libido with uh, with ap eating apricot seeds. And I'm a person that at a trade show, I'll eat 100 to 150 apricot seeds at a trade show, have no issue. But I must put a warning, a warning sign, a warning sign. If you as the first time uh, person to try apricot seeds eats more than three or four, you may get an upset stomach. And then if you okay. rush to Google, you may think, oh my gosh, I just poisoned myself with cyanide. That is false. <laughs> Your body breaks it apart, like I told you, with the mechanism I just told you, but it does need to get used to it. You don't overwhelm your body with uh, th this nu 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 nutrition that you're taking about one milligram of in the average American diet and overwhelm it with 8,000 8, milligrams and expect not to have some ill effects. So it's a nutritional supplement supplement that uh, is better to be build up to f five to 10 apricot seeds a day. Start one or two, or work your way up. If you get an upset stomach, eat some food. If you feel a little queasy, back off and eat one or two, but don't stop just because you think you're getting poisoned, because that's not true. If it was, I'd right. long since disease. So, so yes, I, I believe, but fungus um, could be, could be an, another thing, but I believe if you have the proper nutrition, G. Edward Griffin, who I was just talking to his wife, is 93. He's been taking, his wife just ordered, just ordered for me. I give her the special family founder's discount, but she just ordered B17 for me and she's 92 years old. So right. they've been taking it and he, Ed will tell you that he doesn't know anybody that regularly eats B17 amygdalin that's ever C word. Now, right. do not take that as meaning that someone that stage four can take it, this magic bullet. Now they're going to cure themselves. Do not interpret what I just said as saying that. Interpret it as saying that if you eat the right foods and take the right nutritional supplements, you can avoid getting the C word in the first place. And you have a better chance of your immune system fighting it off if you have the proper nutrition. I, that's a really important point I want people to hear from me. Okay, fair enough. Uh, now, it, you wrote a book about this, right? Well, my father did. Oh, your father did. Okay, so father, wh what, this book. Can, can you just, uh, for the people that, you know, I, you said it's going to be available again, but it's a little hard to get a hold of. Is that right? Yeah, it is. It, it's on our website, says sold out. Um, okay. Uh, it's a combination of like censorship and just the real world things that the company that was publishing it before it took off, skyrocketed. The, the owner passed away. Um, His brother inherited the company from him. And the brother that inherited the company didn't think this was a worthy book to have and, and deleted all the files. So, okay. Ed, so yeah. go ahead. So, but what I, my, my question is, is that if you were just to scan through the book and I'm sure you've read it, uh, what, is there anything specific, like any particular chapter or any, any insights in the book that, would not necessarily be something that we would talk about if you, if I didn't ask this question. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, like I, I, I would single this one out, 116, 117. Okay. This is the, the protocol that we send out free 
it just my dad talks about really important to uh, uh, you know uh, he he talks about how it's a it's a it's a complete system. It's a metabolic therapy that includes taking uh, pancreatic enzymes, adding in uh, bromelain and uh, several other pancreatic enzymes, which we call pro enzymes, but also things like simple things like vitamin C. Uh, okay. Higher quantities of vitamin C, vitamin D, uh, you know, chelated minerals that your body needs, you know, zinc and these other things, um, uh, vitamin E, and uh, staying off of um, uh, uh, meat like uh, a, a cattle or you know a, a chicken, be not because I'm not a believer that it's horrible or you know if it's raised improperly that could be a horrible thing, but but it's not bad for you necessarily, especially if it's raised grass fed beef. You have amygdala in that beef. So, mm -hmm. but my dad said the same enzymes that uh, devour or, or, or help you metabolize protein, animal protein are the same enzymes that help break down the outside of the C cell. So that's why he recommended stay away from, uh, you know, you want to be eating fresh fruits, vegetables, seeds, nuts, and grains. All animal protein, including dairy products is excluded. You want to stay away from tobacco, alcohol, and coffee. These are all things that the doc, good doctors should say, even if you're going through orthodox therapy, these are all things that are good for you uh, in, in general. But then, you know, uh, the, the uh, amygdalin was added at, at different levels, all the way up to 12 grams a day. Bless you. Thank you. Uh, so that's that's what I would say to people that can get that for, by sending the email to contact at rncstore.com. Give us a little time. Uh, we've, we've, we've been getting thousands of calls and emails. And so... Uh, you know, hopefully we're, we've got it down to less than 24 hours to get an email back to you. Um, but that's, that's what I would pick out of my dad's book. And then I showed you the Shane Horton uh, thing in the middle, but it's, it's, this is not the only book out there. This is the okay. one I'm most, because it's my father, sure. but there's hundreds of books about nutritional treatment. There's this funny book that is is on our website. It's called the little cyanide cookbook, tongue in cheek. And uh, it says in the back, sorry, ladies, this is not a manual on how to take care of your husband. Uh, mm -hmm. To the contrary, it's a delightful guide for keeping him around and the rest of the family, too, for many years of health and vigor. And I didn't know this three or four years ago, but inside it says, if every family could enjoy the meals from this book, we'd soon have no more schmancer patients. Let us hasten that day. John A. Richardson, M.D. That's a little thing that was written by my dad. In front right. of his book, it's still in pu published today, and we have copies of this available. But it's got recipes and things like that to get amygdala back in your diet without having to eat apricot seeds that taste terrible. Oh, <laughs> actually, I, I don't think they taste terrible. I like them. Okay. But anyway, well, I, I've, I've taken them. them. I've eaten them since I was uh, since I was a small boy, and people ask me, well, how do they taste? I go, I, I, ah, they taste terrible, but they, they, but they make me feel great. And <laughs> One of the things, one of the missions of our company, and you'll be seeing that over the next several months, is we're introducing foods that not only uh, are good for you, but they taste good and they're healthy. So it's actual food that tastes sweet that's only using, you know, mung fruit or uh, sugars that are good for you, not not uh, the sugars that attract the C word. Because sugar devours and loves glucose. That's why amygdala works, you know. It has okay, to Okay, so this... Just wondering, so you say there's a page in your father's book, but you don't, why don't you just post that page on your website? Is there some reason why you don't? Yeah, we, we, because we uh, we sell the book, but we try to stay away on our website of mentioning the C word other than in the books. And we let the authors take the information because there is a thing in the in the world where if you're, if you're promoting something as a treatment for something and then you sell that thing, that you are, that you're, you know, you're crossing lines there. You're, you're making okay. claims. So we don't want to make claims. We don't make claims. So we provide the information my dad published in a book through an email. If you ask for it, okay. we're not using that. We're not using that information to promote you to, to eat our product or take our product. We're saying, if you want the information, send us an email and right. we'll send it out to you. I know it seems like a legal you know, thing. <laughs> no, I, I see. Yeah. You request information for me and I give it to you, uh, then, you know, and I give you the warning that don't trust this except to use this information and you know, talk to your physicians and do all that stuff. That's, that's pretty much how we protect ourselves. And they, they know who we are. They know who I am, especially because my, I'm John jr. 
and and I've been on the phone with them, these people, these powers that be. And so I just try to follow those rules to stick around and, and keep right. telling the story. And well, the contact it. form on your website, is that a good way to ask for that as well sure. or not? Yeah. Okay. So just wanted to let people know that they the can. Second benefit to that is the second benefit to that is that we, anytime we get something new or exciting, we send it out to our our subscribers. We have twenty or thirty thousand subscribers on our email list. Right. You get on that way. You can you can cancel off at any time. But if you want the updated thing where we find this little thing and it's new, or we I just did another podcast, or if you send a copy of this to me, I literally send it out to all my followers who are interested in seeing what's the newest thing because it's coming at me so fast and furious. I can't even our theme for this month for our company. I can't even get it out there. Our theme is communication. We need to find ways to get things we find books. We find about B 17 or the schmancer word and let our audience know it's available. So it's not just my dad's book. That's unavailable. There's other books that are available that give people the same basic information. And we're not, uh, not trying to hoard this information or profiteer from it, even though if we don't make money and, and so help support people like you who help us tell this message out there, if we don't make money, we soon go out of business. So yes, for sure. Okay. Yeah, so so um, I, I think this is really wonderful. I, uh, I don't have um, access. I'm looking on my site. There's something very weird going on with this whole broadcast, but we are, I believe, still broadcasting strangely. And um, so I I was hoping maybe I could get the chat, a chat room. And I think if you want to hold on, it's it's we're on there. So, yeah, there's sort of. Um, OK, so there is a little bit of a chat room and some people are writing. So if there are any questions in the chat room, if indeed it, we are live and if we do have the chat room, I have I'm looking at my Facebook Um and uh, so we were banned on YouTube today uh, and we were unable to go live over there on my very small. I have a very small remnant that I, I've already been banned on YouTube. Uh, the reason I'm not banned on Facebook uh, is because all I do is broadcast there and post uh, business things, you know, like links to other shows. But I don't really do anything on Facebook. I don't do social media on Facebook per se. So other than this, but um, yeah, so we, it looks like we are live on, still on live on my channel. Um, but as I say, I can't really see any questions and I'm not sure what's going to go on that with that. So I just thought we might ask some of the common questions people ask are how many should I take? And we answered that, but let me reiterate right. Start out with a few, two or three and work your way up. Uh, and, and then people ask, follow up with, well, how about my sister or my cousin or my doctor or whatever? <laughs> my dad said, it doesn't matter who you are. It doesn't matter what schmancer you have. Uh, you want to get your, your immune system back up and you want to use the protocol. So he didn't, there was no different uh, treatment plan for different things. There might be a place where if they were injecting purified Laetrile, they might inject it in a different spot to get it there quicker. But the, the but, but there wasn't the, the protocol itself kind of remains the same. And the good thing about that is I don't have to hear your case history. Or I don't have to give medical advice. I just tell, <laughs> this is what I suggested. And if you believe it, try it yourself. And the really cool thing is the number of people that are that are uh, you doing it and having tremendous results. And it's not something that we used to talk about, but now we're collecting those results so that we can get it back out there. And people are right. saying, I'll be right. part of a study. I'll be part of this. Right. And so now if there's anybody in the audience that would like to write a 10 or $20 million check so we can have a study that you'll never get any profit from. You'll never be able to patent this because it's free to everybody, but we need twenty million dollars to do the do the blind double blind human study. <laughs> and I'm half joking. Well, I'm uh, surprised that nobody has done that. I'm sure that people have. There have been studies. There have been studies, contrary to what the mainstream media would say. There have been studies, but most of them are are uh, censored, not put out there, hidden away. And I've discovered um, a lot of studies. One was I described it Sloan Kettering. One was done in. In Israel, another one was done in Germany, another one was done in Japan. There have okay. been studies done, and there's been several studies done in the United States, never all of which were criticized for different reasons. But but the whole system 
is not set up to have a natural cheap answers to any disease, unfortunately, yes. because there's no way to drive a Ferrari and sell uh, something that could cost $35 for a six month supply. And you can get rid of that company altogether by just growing it yourself. You know, you just eat lima beans, millet, barley. That's the message I'm trying to tell people. I just make it easier for people to get them. But eventually I'll put myself out of business because I want this on every, I was talking to a grocery store representative today. I want it in every- I think so, oh. yeah. I, I think want that'd be great. Over. Yeah, so I'll. the only thing I'll get is people you know, want to pay me to tell my story someplace and, and I'll probably- you know, invest in real estate or something later. I, I joke because in my lifetime, we are going to wipe out the C word. And just the fact that my dad's name will be part of that history is, is really what motivates me uh, and what keeps me going. And, and I know when I'm being attacked that I'm over the target and that the information is real and that people can see my heart and they can see that, uh, that my motivations are, are, are real. Excellent. Uh, last question. Uh, what, maybe I've kind of maybe covered it and I didn't quite get it, but what drove your dad down this road? Is there any specific incident? Yeah. Uh, he, we had a cat that got the C word and he took the cat in to uh, get it uh, looked at. And they said, uh, chemotherapy early 1970s and it'll be about $2,000 and the chances are that after we do all that, the cat will live another six months. That's mm -hmm. probably the outlook. So my dad, who was an ear, nose, and throat specialist, you know, went to University of Rochester Medical School, uh, admittedly had a week of nutritional uh, classes during his entire medical career, a week of nutritional classes, said there's got to be a better way. And he had a, a colleague in the San Francisco Bay Area called Ernst T. Krebs Jr., whose father... Ernst T. Krebs Sr. had originally pioneered the idea of amygdalin and laetrile as a prevention and treatment since the 1920s. Hmm. And he has, we have journals and things like that from the 1920s doing this, but he ran into Ernst Krebs. He said, yeah, try this on your cat. Uh, you know, I'm developing this purified amygdalin. I'm calling it laetrile. Try your cat. Well, dad tried it on the cat. The cat got through it, survived and lived another six years. I think the cat's name was Spooky. I, I sometimes <laughs> argue with my family members whether it was a dog or a cat. So let me just say, I I, I remember 100% it was a cat. My older brother said, you're right. My younger brother said, no, I think it was a dog. Anyway, point is, we tried it on our family pet. And then just so happened that my dad's uh, main nurse, his head nurse at his ear, nose, and throat clinic had a sister. And she volunteered because they had run out of anything to do with her. She volunteered to be... Uh, for my dad to try it on her. So he tried it on her and the results were phenomenal. And she came back and she lived longer and she she had her appetite back and she was a success story. And my dad thought, I found a silver bullet. I found something that's amazing. He soon learned it's not a silver bullet. And he soon realized that you can't call it that because it can't just, it has to be all the things that he was doing the metabolic therapy, the complete thing. Some people would, re, uh, would react quicker. Some people would react slower. And a lot of the times he found, or all the times he found it was dependent on their overall health. So the, it worked better for someone who was overall healthy, you know, otherwise. So that means, you know, vitamin E, vitamin, all the things that are in his protocols, what he developed over the next right. five years while he was being harassed, arrested, uh, you know, uh, sued four times for different medical boards. He lost his license, gained it back. The end story is he got through all those, won it all, and then Sloan Kettering came out with the world saying that it was proven, disproven, even though it was proven, and we know that. And then it kind of, my dad, uh, uh, know that it's the most demonized, but all, also probably the most effective natural uh uh, product for your, your immune system to fight off the C word. So, okay. So, um, just last, I, I know this is part of my first, my question. I just asked you, you didn't say how did, how did he administer it to the cat? So you happen to know that, do they grind it up and put it in their yeah, food? He, how did they? At that time he grind it up, put it in their, their, their soft food. Cats, okay. dogs like raw meat, and that's the best meat to use with uh, ground up apricot seeds, or we have a, we sell seed meal. Uh, some people break it open into pure uh, amygdalin and give them half a capsule. Um, so again, I, I'm not an, a veterinarian. I have very close friends who are, 
Right. Uh, and I can, I can refer people, but I can say in general, what my dad did is put it in their food, whatever they ate. Sometimes they don't have an appetite. So you've got to put it in a treat and hide it because it is bitter. But a lot of people seeing their animal, if they're sick, their dog, they go out and eat grass. That's think, right. Why are they eating grass? And then they'll throw up sometimes. Well, the fact is grass, lawn grass has amygdala in it, nitrilocytes, laetrile, whatever you want to call it, has yeah. it in it. But they're Can't actually, so they're going out there to help themselves. So that's, we have a, a website. I can say this uh, every time I go on a podcast, my friend Thomas <laughs> Sandberg, his website called uh, longlivingpets.com. Okay. All right. He has doubled, literally doubled the life of his Great Danes from eight or nine years to 16, 18, 20 years, Excellent. using a whole meat diet and apricot seeds. And he just puts in one per 10 pounds ground up. He's 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 20 or 30 years, no, 20 years into that study, a 30 year study. And I refer people to him as far as all the time, as far as just getting the information. And of course, I I sell him wholesale apricot seeds and he sells them on his site. And you know, it's a, okay. Now it's what's a, his website again so people can longlivingpets.com. Okay. And it's, it's, his name is Thomas Sandberg. Right. All right. Fabulous. Um, thank you so much for coming on the show. And uh, I'm glad we were able to get this going. Uh, so let's stay in touch. Uh, anything you want to communicate or you want to get out to the people, let me know. And we'll do yeah. that. And um, thank you again. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure. Take care. Right. Okay. Bye-bye.